career high for threes for Cam. Uh, K State's taken. Uh, two Keontae, how'd it feel to be in one of those uh, highlight passes from Marquise Noel for a dunk? Oh, it was just a blessing to have a point guard that can have vision like that to be able to pass and see me in transition. I mean, just thankful for him to make the passes. That was one of probably the best passes I had, though, for sure. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the first half you had and then the second half you had, just the differences. Oh, the difference is, uh, you know, Teams have scouting reports, so you know whoever gets off in the first half, you know they're gonna make adjustments in the second half. So that's how that was. The first half, you know my team, they got me great looks, and I was able to knock them down. So. Yeah, Cam, how much of a lift do you think you gave the guys hitting those three pointers in the first half? Uh, I mean I couldn't do it without my team. I mean so they got us. I mean they got me going, and I feel that got us going, and, and you know we was able to get on top, get some momentum, and you know go up by a lot. And Desi, talk to me about that second half late. You had a string of about 10 points in like three minutes, picked up a charge too. Did you just kind of realize that was an important situation for you guys? Um, I couldn't do nothing without a guy. I just felt like my teammates just knew that um, I had to bring energy to the table and they knew on defense end I'm going to bring that each and every night. And um, they looked out when I leaked out and they just found me for the open layups and stuff. So it gave me a good run. Yeah, Desi, how's your ankle? We saw you get rolled up a little bit. Um, first half, I accident stepping on number 11 foot, trying to get during his first bucket. You know, he ain't scored yet, but I wanted to see him get his first collar bucket. It was real special. I knew he was in the corner, so I penetrated and I landed on it. But as of right now, it's real good. It's, and I don't want to say real good. It's okay, but I got a lot of tape on it right now, so the momentum just carried over. And then Keontae, you guys started to figure out the zone they were playing there a little bit um, in the first half. Cam started to knock down the shots. Just uh, how did you kind of figure out that zone defense they were running? Um, just, um, just practice. We've been practicing all week. Um, coach been preaching, drive, engage two defenders. So every time I was trying to go, just trying to engage two to look out for Cam. Cam called my name, so had confidence, tried to set the screen for him, and he knocked it down. And this is really for any of you guys, but now that you have these first three games under your belt, getting to go down to the Cayman Islands, just how exciting is that? Um, it's very exciting. I mean, going down there, we're trying to make a statement. Uh, just keep playing the basketball we've been playing as a team. Just getting better every day, really. So I feel like it's a great opportunity for us to challenge ourselves and play against different uh, competition. Cam, when that three-pointer is popping, what's that feel like to you? <laughs> Feels good because, uh, you know, I work on that all the time. So, you know, I put the work in and it showed. So, you know, it feels good. You came here, was this kind of the c kind of thing you kind of uh, thought for yourself was possible, scoring these points and hitting those kinds of buckets? Wait, excuse me. I said, when you, when you came here, did you anticipate being able to do what you're doing right now? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And, you know, Coach Tang saw it in me too. So, you know. How excited are you for the Cayman Islands go, uh, going forward? Yeah, I'm really excited. This is my second time going out the country, so I know it's different out there. So different type of weather, different type of water, everything. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Keontae, if, if there was one part of your guys' performance tonight that you would kind of look to that you p need to pick up on or improve upon, what would it be? Um, probably talking more. Like, we didn't communicate at a high level tonight. I feel like that's why we had a lot of breakdowns on defense and they got easy buckets. So I feel like we just need to communicate it better and just stay locked in throughout the whole, play a full 40 minute game instead of playing like the first 20 minutes or so he's getting pull up full 40. Yeah, Desi, I kind of wanted to follow up a little bit on those last few minutes where you had those buckets. You're a little bit older on a team that's got a lot of new pieces. Like, how important is it to be able to have a leader come through in a moment like that where you kind of put the game on ice in a way? Um, I've been through the fire, been through the wind. Um, I got guys around me that trust me each and every night in my abilities and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, I'm going to try to do whatever I can to help the team win. And my teammates believe me, so they keep feeding me, and I'm going to keep on trying to find the open spots and try to get, um, get, get us going each and every way. Even though I'm an older guy, I know what it will take to win, and I'm just trying to continue to win and continue my legacy here and try to show why K-State one of the best teams in the country. Yeah, and then – in terms of distributing and finding open shooters for layups or even just a jump shot, you seem to be 
getting a little bit more comfortable with that. How much have you just kind of grasped the offensive scheme at this point, whether in transition or in the half court? I, I just try to find an open guy. You know, if I see uh, any any lane or any opening gap, like Coach says, it's, it's always an open soaker. So if I see an open soaker penetrate and try to find an open guy. So we worked on all week on the zone. So we, I, I'd be able to find Keontae every time when he um, cut to the rim. Hey, Keontae, where's your stamina at right now? I know preseason you said you weren't back at 100% yet, but you play almost 35 minutes tonight. How's your body feel? I feel good. I mean, just I get treatment after every game um, every morning, so I feel like just keep doing, staying consistent with that. Um, this is getting me in the right, I feel like the right way. I feel like my body right now feels great, though. I feel good. How far away, how far away do you think you are to being back to 100% where you were? Um, I said, well, I said 65 last time. Uh, I probably, I say 70, 75 right now. I just, just still need to get like the more feel. I'm still trying to let the game come to me. Just fill out other teams. Um, I know going down the line, a lot of teams going to change their scout reports. So just trying to just get the feel of the team and keep going for my teammates to keep me giving me confidence. So. Yeah, Keontae, I think you, uh, Marquise, and Naquan really did most of the scoring the first couple of games. How nice is it to add? Couple more guys in double figures now to maybe give teams a little bit more to worry about. Yeah, um, like Coach always preached, we have different guys. Like this team, we have a lot of guys that can go off any night. So, I mean, that's like the blessing of this team. Um, any given night, somebody can be the leading scorer, and nobody take it. Like nobody take it to heart. So we just all want to see each other win, really. Yeah, Keontae, I was just curious when uh, Cam's able to find that stroke like that, what kind of asset is that to you guys? Uh, it helps. I mean, it helps out a lot on offense, really, just knowing that uh, if another player on the team is hitting, just keep trying to find him. I mean, he hit four, what, three or four in the first half, so just kept feeding him. We kept getting open looks, and he shooting with confidence. So we practiced that. Coach always pre shoot your, um, your practice shots, and that's what he did today. Desi, you've been a guy that's come off the bench before very much? Um, not really. Um, I, I was a starter at, at my old school, and I started at Arkansas at, um, all, down, down all three years. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm taking each role I can. You know, I, I don't care if I come off the bench, I don't care if I start. I'm going to give them the energy, the effort, and enthusiasm each and every night. You know, if I score a lot of points, cool. If I got locked up to the best defender, I mean, the best uh, offensive player on the other team, I'm willing to do that. Uh, I'm just a team player. I'm a team guy. So whatever to do to take the win, I'm willing to do. The defense uh, really key what you guys are doing early in the season. Uh, right now, we we lack a days. We ain't doing much talking. We just um, we did we look at the score a lot. I think we play the score. So when we don't do that and we just lock up on defense, I think we're um, a hell of a good defensive team. And Cam, what Im what improvements have you guys got to make defensively? Uh, like Desi said, just communicate more. You know, we practice defense every day in practice, and you know, even if we go 50%, they tell us to speak 100%. So we just need to you know put that out on the court. Thank you.